All righty. Look, a lot of people are pooping in their pants about brakes. And somehow, some people think the brake breaks and plows are somehow a, how do you say, a danger to the United States, you know? And um, I don't think, I don't think uh, brakes, commercially speaking, can do much against uh, the economy of the United States, and I'll tell you why. Um, some countries of break, not all of them, but uh, some of them, the main ones, uh, do have a level of manufacturing, and that's important. You know, they have the means of production. That is important. On the other hand, the United States has the money. And also, a lot of engineering and know-how and technology, latest technology, to manufacture the means of production. So, it is innative, what's the word I'm looking for? Innatable? I don't know, my English is so terrible. Uh, it is uh, a matter of time that other countries, countries are going to get together and they may create their own currency and trade within their own money. And these countries have means of production. And up to a certain point, they do have some technology to create, to engineer their own means of production. All right? So what could it possibly happen? In the worst case, let's say, they trade in their own money. Will that affect the dollar? It'll affect the dollar somehow, but nobody's dropping the dollar and nobody's gonna drop the dollar anytime soon. And I don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen in a few lifetimes, you know? I don't think if ever. And, uh, but what could possibly happen the worst? The worst, it would be the the consumer in the United States is now going to compete against a higher global demand of products. They're going to have to compete with the consumer in China, in India, in Russia, in whatever places, breaks. Uh, get countries and want to do business with right so there's gonna be a higher which is a good thing I think higher global demand of products meaning it's a higher quality higher living quality for the world in general and uh, so what now when I buy a pair of shoes for me now I have to compete with somebody else on the other side of the world that wants the same pair of shoes that means the manufacturers are going to have to have higher productivity. They're going to have to produce more. What if they cannot produce more? Right? I think that's why it is important for the United States to also bring back some of the means of production back into the United States. Some of the manufacturing back in the United States. Because the world is going to have a higher demand of goods. The United States needs to be able to respond and to have the manufacturing of those goods here in the United States. Otherwise, what, you're gonna come like a Venezuela without anything in there to buy anywhere, you know? So, competition, you know, it's not gonna be like that, but other people are gonna want the same thing, and the American consumer 
we're gonna have to compete against those guys, right? To get the same thing. It's better to manufacture it right here. And so we can have easier access of those, of those goods. I think it's a matter of politics more than what bricks are gonna do, what are they not gonna do and so on. I think local manufacturing is a good thing. Uh, if uh, anybody's gonna be in trouble, let's say this, this becomes something nasty, which is not gonna happen, but imagine, we're gonna imagine the wars, right? A, a commercial World War III. You know, the first one that's gonna fall is the European Union. The European Union are a bunch of little countries now. They have an economic block just because they're all together. Mexico has a bigger economy than many European countries. NATO is financed by the United States, you know? Trump already said, why are we giving all the money to NATO? What is NATO doing? They got no money. The United States pays their bills, you know? So if anybody gonna fall for anything, it's gonna be the, the EU before the United States, way before the United States. They need to bring some manufacturing back to Europe as well. Because I'm telling you, Brex is going to create a more demand of goods in the region. Higher demand of goods are going to compete against the demand in the United States and Europe. And if you don't have your own manufacturing, you may be in trouble. The good news is that here in the United States, we have the know-how to manufacture, we have the engineering, we have technology to know how to manufacture the machines that are going to manufacture products to meet the, the, to meet the demand of goods. So we got that going. Now, we just need to implement the means of production here in the United States. Oh, Brex, Brex, Brex. Brex is not gonna do anything, dude. You gotta cover your own butt, you know? You gotta cover your own butt. It's just a matter of time that other markets are going to create demands and they're gonna want the same things you want. You know, you, nobody can stop that. You just need to be prepared. And you know, for people like me, more manufacturing everywhere is good because the world of manufacturing, if you want the latest technology for manufacturing, that is an international market an international market which the United States is, is positioned very well, let's say, because we do have technology and we do know how to manufacture things. So if Brex wants machines, somebody wants it, somebody in Brazil wants to buy me some, buy some industrial products for manufacturing i'll design it here for you guys you know we got engineering we got the know-how we know how to do it and we have the product you want good machines we can make them here in the united states for you we can design them for you